I'm flying Delta One for the first time ever from Detroit to Amsterdam. Uh, really, really looking forward to this. Uh, the best bit, this whole video, I've managed to start it with Mr. Delta himself, Jeb Brooks. Thanks, mate. You're welcome. So I've made it all the way to Greensboro, North Carolina, and it, to meet this bloke, Here Jeb I am. Brooks. He exists, and he does actually uh, reside in this fair city. It turns out that he's actually the Casey Neistat of North Carolina. It's not we've, true. We've just arrived at his studio. He's, he's got his own. He's got his own studio set up. Look at this. How good is this? There's a big. There's a big play area, right? If we were any fitter, we'd like we'd run. We'd run around this and scooter and all of that sort of stuff. But we'll leave that to the New Yorkers. Um, they're far more refined here in uh, Greensboro. How good is this setup? It was great to see Jeb, and as you would expect, we spent most of the day talking rubbish. That said, we also managed to record a fun Q&A video. It's up on Jeb's channel, and I'll put the link below. It's definitely worth watching. Also, while you're there, check out the rest of Jeb's videos. He's one of the elite aviation YouTubers out there, and does some fantastic flight reviews. On top of that, he's just a really nice guy and a good friend. So I'm at the airport and this is it, Delta One, my first ever Delta flight. Looking forward to it. Uh, this is Detroit Airport. Spent the night at the Western Hotel here. Quite a nice hotel and uh, quite a convenient little airport. I'm about to go to lounge. Jeb reckons that uh, the one near the hotel, Concourse A, just on the left here, is the one to go to. But I've just spotted something. Let's uh, go and have a look at this. So the very first aircraft I saw was today's ride, a beautiful A350-900. This one is a newbie, dating back to January 2018. As with so many lounges these days, this one was very busy, which made filming difficult, as I don't really like filming other people. I eventually found a quiet spot with a view of the shops below, and settled down to watch Jeb's great video on the day he spent training to be a flight attendant. Definitely check that one out too. The lounge had various food options available, but I just had some American caffeine water and a cookie. Let's go, it's time to fly to Europe. Now's also a really good time to tell you about the small group touring company who are sponsoring this video. And a bit of disclaimer, I'm one of the owners, which means I know they're good. We uh, run tours from North America and from Australia to uh, Asia, Europe, the Middle East, South of Central America and Africa. But as I'm flying to Europe, let's have a look at some of our European tours. From Portugal to Croatia and Norway to Italy, the small group touring company has Europe covered with a maximum group size of just 18 and a dedicated tour leader with you all the way, small group touring is the ultimate way to travel through Europe. At the small group touring company, it's less about a tour and more about a moment. A moment of connection, of intimacy, of understanding. It's less about the things that we cross off a list and more about the things that we cannot see, only experience. We connect travelers to the destination in ways not possible when traveling independently on a large group tours. We do this through our unique special experiences, like wine tasting at a small chateau in France, embracing our inner artist during a tile painting workshop in Portugal, and learning to cook real pizza the Italian way. Visit smallgrouptouringco.com, check out our Instagram profile, and discover Europe the small group touring way. Flying to uh, Amsterdam, so why not? Why not? Sir? Why not? Why not? Normally absolutely. start with bubbles, but this is a fantastic change. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, thank you. If you need anything else, my name is Bubba, sir. Bubba? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Starting a flight to Amsterdam with a Heineken sounds like a good idea to me. Cheers. Here's to a great flight. Delta, we're dedicated to 
celebrating the many things we have in common. Bringing the world closer together, one flight at a time. As we were waiting to take off, it was clear that Detroit was awash with CRJs this morning. These little flyers were everywhere. I love that final turn onto the runway as we prepare for takeoff. If you do too, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Now, let's fly to Amsterdam. The Delta One cabin is laid out in a 1 2 1 configuration, meaning that every seat has direct dial access. The middle seats have a privacy partition that can be opened just in case your partner insists on talking to you. There are no overhead lockers above the centre seats in business class. Whilst this does limit overhead storage space, it gives the whole cabin a wonderful roomy feel. This, combined with the lower air pressure, makes the A350 a great aircraft to fly. The seats are designed so that each passenger has their own little cubicle or suite. To maximise space, each seat is offset from the one in front and behind. On the side, this means that some seats are closer to the aisle and some closer to the window. The odd numbered rows are closest to the window, so they have the best views. These seats, or suites, are brilliant. They remind me of the China Eastern design, but these seem better. The leather seats are firm but comfortable and are easy to adjust using the main control panel. There is also a second, more basic control panel which can be used while the seat is in bed mode. Most airline seats tend to be a bit narrow, this includes business class. However, these Delta One seats are excellent, providing good width across the shoulders, the elbows and the seat. They also feature a good amount of legroom and plenty of space to spread out your stuff. Storage is provided in the form of a shelf and a nook which is also where you find the headphones and a water bottle. Just below this is a universal power socket and USB port. The tray table is easy to deploy and can be moved forward so you can get the perfect working position. In addition to the overhead lights and air vents, these suites feature mood lighting which can be dimmed and brightened using the central control panel. This is one very classy suite. And there's even a coat hook. The best feature though is the fact that you can close your suite door and escape into your own private cocoon. This is a great feature for business travellers needing to lock themselves away and get some work done, or those wanting to sleep without being disturbed by what's happening in the cabin. These seats therefore offer a massive advantage over the 222 configured business class, or in the case of BA, 242. Upon boarding, each Delta One passenger is supplied with an amenities kit containing the standard fare. No PJs were provided on this flight, however rumour has it that Delta does provide them on their ultra long haul flights if you ask. Once in the air, service started with a drink from the bar, in this case the best mixed gin and tonic I've had in the sky, served with warm nuts. The menus are shown in full at the end of the video. I have to say though that I love the design of the menu covers, it's a beautiful photo. About an hour after departure, lunch was served. The first part was served on a tray and consisted of a salad, prawns and my first ever corn chowder, together with some pretzel bread. All of it was fresh and tasty. The main course was served individually. I went with the chicken. The tzatziki was excellent, but the chicken itself a bit dry. For dessert, I remembered I was flying on an American carrier, so I just couldn't go past the ice cream sundae. Do you want me to make it my way? Yes. The Delta Entertainment System worked well and is operated using the large touch screen right in front of you. The choices in terms of movies and TV was excellent. I spent the first part of the flight in the 80s and 90s grooving along to John Mellencamp. I then noticed we were flying just north of Scranton, so I had myself an office marathon. 
so much for getting any work done or sleeping on this flight. This aircraft was Wi-Fi enabled. I had a look, but I didn't connect. For filming, I did make up the bed and try it out. The foot room was excellent, as was the width and length. This was a very comfortable bed, and therefore, this Delta One bed gets a thumbs up from me. By now, most of the cabin was asleep, and with all the doors closed, you can see how private this cabin is. Another meal was served before our arrival into Amsterdam. I went with the continental breakfast option and followed this with an espresso. As we came into land at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport, we got a good view of the Polderbahn runway which is almost on the other side of the country. This footage just shows how far it is away from the rest of the airport. If you land or take off from here, expect at least a 25 to 30 minute taxi. So that was my first ever Delta experience. And what's the verdict? Well, I was impressed. Certainly in terms of hard product, this is the best of the North American product by far. Um, the sense of privacy, the space, uh, the width of the seat, the comfort of the seat, fantastic. Meals, very nice, very good. Entertainment system, good as well. But I think what really made it was uh, the crew, especially the flight attendant looking after uh, my section. Scott, big shout out to you, mate. You uh, really made the flight more enjoyable. So based on this, I'd give Delta a big thumbs up and I'd certainly fly them again, uh, and especially on that uh, A350 aircraft. From here, uh, it's a short hop for me in a couple of hours over to Amsterdam with BA, and then I'm jumping on the uh, Qantas direct flight from London Heathrow to Perth on the 787. It's about 17 hours, so uh, look out for that review coming uh, soon on my channel. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and check out my channel. Obviously, uh, there's a lot of reviews up there already, but a lot more on the way. In the meantime, as always, happy travels.